Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic, also known as Logic 301. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is an element for set theory. Not elements as in the four elements or elements in terms of chemicals. We're talking about set theory. So, elements or members are the parts of a set. They are the objects that comprise a set. <clears throat> a set is a group of elements, while elements are members of a set. <clears throat> a bird, for example, would be a member or an element of the set of all animals, but a tree would not. The number two would be an element of the set of all prime numbers, but the number one would not be. Note that sets can be elements of other sets, so something can be both a set and an element. And when we look at the difference between classes and sets, we will see that, in fact, all sets are elements of at least one class. For example, A is the set of all sets of four-note chords on a piano. So a member of A might be C4, E4, G4, and C5. Any given member of the set A is itself a set. It's a set of notes. That chord is a set of notes, so A is a set of sets. The only things that are in A are other sets. No notes are in A, simply sets. Each member of the smaller sets within A does not have sets for members, but rather notes. So if B is the set of C4, E4, G4, and C5, those are all notes on a piano, then B would be an element of A, because A is defined as the set of all four note chords on, the set of all sets of four note chords on the piano. B is a set of four notes that form a chord on the piano. So B is a set which is a member of A. But any of those individual notes, C4, E4, G4, or C5, are not members of A because A is only defined as having as members sets, not notes. Sets can even be members of themselves. We're going to, if, if what I just said doesn't make sense, we're going to look in more depth at this idea of how sets are members of themselves and when you have kind of telescoping sets of a set of a set of a set, why the biggest set doesn't have all of those inside sets as sets, just the one that's directly inside it. We'll look at that in more depth soon. Don't worry. So, sets can be members of themselves, though this is going to cause problems, as we'll see in a future video, but they can be. For example, take the set of all sets mentioned in this video. So, C is the set of all sets mentioned in this video. Since the set C is mentioned in this video, it is a member of itself. Don't worry if the notation is a little confusing right now. It's going to be clarified in an upcoming video. I just wanted to start introducing it a little bit here so that when we jump into that notation, you're not going to be too shocked or too surprised by it. Okay? So C is a set which is a member of itself. A is a set which has as its members sets. And B is a set which does not have as its members sets. It has as its members notes. All right. Elements of a set can be written out if they're specific objects, or represented with lowercase italic Latin letters if they're variables. We wrote out the note names in the set B, so B equals C4, E4, G4, and C5, and we could do that with any objects. We could have the set D, which is the set of the year 2020, the Earth's largest diamond, and Oprah. When we get to the video on defining a set, we'll see some other examples of how to use these kind of lowercase set variables. Remember, the sets and classes are always going to be in italics to help distinguish them from other variables that might, we might see in propositional logic. All right? Whew! Hopefully that made sense. Up next, we're going to look at what is membership. It's important to note that all of these videos play together a lot. There's a lot of intermixing between them, so if you didn't get a concept in a particular video, where it's probably going to show up again in another one, especially right in this first week. So if you're still a little confused on how sets work, we're still getting the basic mechanics here, so keep watching, and hopefully something in these first couple videos will help you out. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for the entire month of October. Stay skeptical, everybody.